Good evening, and uh, I don't usually do this type of video, but as I've got two of the same locos, I thought I would give it a go. This is the Hornby new, well, reissue, I suppose, uh, Silver Jubilee train pack, which came today. And just so you've got a. <laughs> it's up, there we go. with its three coaches and this one at the back is the Backman Silver Fox it's quite old now hopefully there, there you go it's the old style packaging and it's also split metal split metal chassis in there as well both are DCC at the moment, um, DC at the moment, as I haven't got a chip for this one yet, as it only came today. Really quick from Hornby. They were quite expensive on eBay, and they're still selling them for 160 on the Hornby website for the full train pack, so I just got it from there. Right, so let's, if we take a closer look at the Hornby, even though it is railroad, you do have their lovely sprung buffers on the front we also have a nice nice bit of detailing there with the old uh, pipes a little is it a little bent or are they no that's like that yeah that's not too too bad there's a lot of really nice detailing on here as well as in these little bits here. I don't know if they're safety valves or, or if that's just sort of riveting or but they're really really don't know if that'll focus, that was my stomach. I if that'll focus, but they're really nice on there. You've got the metal handrail up the top here, which is nice. There's no handrails here, they're just plastic moulded. If we go to the top, it's the usual railroad. Kind of none of these open or anything like the premium ones. There is a nice bit of detailing, I don't know if you can sort of vents in there and on the top there which is very very and the delivery is really nice this is fixed with the uh, the flat uh, flangeless wheels and then the connector through to the tender the cab your average railroad cab with no windows and the uh, brake pipes are already on so yeah really really nice on this a very kind of matte grey finish once again no handrails on this side but very very nice detailing in there and on here and all the rivets around as well Will we focus on the front come on Let's see if we can get a bit more. No, okay, not overly, but yeah, that's really, really, really nice. And the tender, we do have metal handrails on the tender and on the back. The typical ginormous rock solid plastic coal on the top. Not too bad a detail in here with your are they brake levers. So yeah, it's not too bad. It just needs a little bit of a paint up. And it's really heavy as well. The whole thing's really weighty, especially the tender. The tender is very, very heavy. Which is really, really good. And once again, it's also sprung buffers as well. Be all the back, the handrails, and metal handrail around the top as well. Probably not a handrail up there, but but yeah, no window, no window through to the tender, well, through the tender anyway, through the, the gangway there for the door this end. But then, if you take a look at the old style backman, solid front bumpers, just tiny place for your hook there, and nothing else. The chimney as well doesn't really have anything on it at all. 
there's the, the metal handrails and win, obviously windows in the cab, nice riveting the nice silver fox, it is a more of a more of a silvery almost a sparkle in the actual paintwork but then there's none of the lines like we have on the front here, if you see the front on the two of them this just kind of has rivets where this has got a really nice sort of detailing on the on the fair and there also the the front bogey as well this obviously has there's a little slight difference in there this one obviously has the rear twisting so it can go on the rail so we have some lovely normal metal handrails not much difference I don't think really cab wise in fact if anything the Hornby's got more detail Ooh, I'll actually get them in shot for you yeah There's more levers and things on the actual Hornby one But yeah, this one, I, I really do like this one. But I honestly think I prefer the Hornby Railroad one. This so just seems to be a bit more detail in it. Smaller coal at least on this. I believe this is the Streamline Tender. But yeah, obviously there's coal out on this one as well a bit more detailing around here and once again there is the metal metal handrails on this one slight difference in colour this one's definitely more grey where this one is sort of more silvery then we come to the back there is the little window it's obviously got the grey door inside it, that one's all black. No sprung buffers on the tinder, but it does have a small small coupling on it, whereas the Hornby one has giant, the giant old school style. This, this one's quite old as you can see, it's starting to wear off from the end in a different colour. So are they the leaf springs almost for the for the suspension? Different colour where on this they're all the same. And with the ah with this, this bit is additional sort of metal where on the backman it's just part of the mould. I'm not sure which silver fox I put I'll look it up. If not someone will comment which dial tender it had, whether it had this extra part on the back and whether that is for, for streamlining or not to these two. I know there has been a stuff said in the past about having the right tenders on the right locomotives and whether Hornby have got it right, Backman have got it right and so forth. And there is a bit about the front ends as well, about the curve of the front end. That I've read in some places as well. I don't know if we can if we can put these this way. Get them buffer to buffer. Does seem the Hornby one does seem to be chunkier. The fairing at the front seems bigger. Jeremy don't this seems almost like a bigger scale. Slightly. I mean, the size of the, the wheels are definitely bigger. I'm not sure. The buffers are a lot higher. Yeah, there's a bit of difference. But all in all, I'm really, really liking the Hornby Railroad version. I was shocked when I found out that they've all got sprung buffers. And yeah, they're both they're both DC at the moment. So um, 
We'll have to get that shipped probably during the weekend now. So, um, see how that goes. But yeah, two very nice locos. They both run really well. But I really, really like the Railroad Edition. I don't know which is the more accurate colour wise obviously you can see all this has the darker grey fair and where the backman it the same colour from the front comes round and down the top of the fair and of which it doesn't on here but all the other ones I've got it's if I take this off with obviously golden eagle the whole of the bottom is the same colour. That's the another Backman. And then I also have Hornby Peregrine, which has the black going all the way atop of the fairing as well, very similar to the Backman one. I think these are also the same moulds, other than this has the, the double chimney. I think these two are both railroad. Yes, I think they are. They look pretty pretty similar in every way. Obviously apart from the chimneys. But yeah, so all in all, I think I've waffled on enough. I'm really happy with my little my little railroad set and now that I've finished rambling I'll show you a quick quick video of it going around the layout and I'll say bye for now see you later so here she is coupled up ready with the uh, the other three coaches that came with the set and remember at the moment she is DC let's give her out other way and we'll see her off really really smooth the coaches run really well you can just kind of push them round the layout literally one push and I'll go sort of go, go round and come back Just as a comparison as well, I thought let's put the uh, the uh, Backman on one on as well with the coaches.